In today's video, we are going to create an amazing poster design for Gatorade. Gatorade. Grab your mouse as we dive in. First things first, we are going to create a new document. Choose a solid color. We are going to copy this as code. Create a new layer. Grab a soft hand brush. Opacity is set to 100, foreground is set to white. We are just going to click once. With that in place, we are just going to transform and adjust it properly. Once that is in position, we hit the check mark to confirm. With the layer selected, we are going to set the blend mode to soft light. Ctrl J to make a copy. Then we are going to set the blend mode of the copy to normal and reduce the opacity. We are going to create a new layer. Now we can grab our rulers. So we are positioning them right about here. We are going to grab the polygonal lasso to create a new layer. Then we are just going to create a selection this way. Once you have a selection, we right click and we are going to fill it with a foreground color. Ctrl D to deselect. Now we are going to copy the foreground. Right click and create a clipping max. We are going to copy this move, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste, right click and convert to a smart object, Ctrl T to transform. We are going to drop the layer right there. Set the blend mode to screen. Create a max with a max like that, Ctrl I to invert. With a soft time brush, we are going to reduce the opacity. Organ is set to white. Then we are just going to be painting some back. We create a new layer. Grab a soft hand brush. Opacity is 100. And we click once. We are going to set the blend mode to soft light. Holding down shift, we are just going to select these two layers and copy them together. So we are just going to position and adjust them this way. We are going to position this right about here. Let's grab the next item. So we are going to copy the rings now. We are just going to position it right here. Control TV right click and we are going to flip it horizontally. The line place Control J to make a copy. 
Control J to make another copy. So we are just going to position the copies this way. So we have, so we have the three together this way. With the three layers selected, we are going to drop the layer right here. Control G to make a group. Control J to make a copy. And we are just going to move the copy to the other side. Control T. We right click and we are going to flip that horizontal as well. So I'm just going to grab this fog and position it somewhere here yeah, and drop the layer. With this layer selected, we are going to create a hue and saturation adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. Check colorize. We are going to release the opacity. So we are just going to make a copy of the adjustment layer. Control J to make a copy. And we are going to position it onto the second layer. We right click and clip it onto the layer. With this layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer already clipped onto the layer. With the mark selected, Control I to invert. With a soft sound brush, we are going to reduce the opacity. Foreground is set to white. We are just going to be painting some shadows. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer already clipped onto the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. With the soft brush, then we are just going to be painting. So we do the same for this. We create an exposure adjustment layer. With the mask selected, we invert the mask by pressing Ctrl I. With the soft brush, we paint shadows or highlights. Four when it's set to white. With this last selector, we are going to create a levels adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. We are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With the mask selected, Control I to invert. We grab a soft turn brush. Reduce the opacity. Foreground is set to white. We right click and we are just going to change the roundness a bit. So we are going to be painting some shadows. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer. With the mask selected, Control I to invert. With the soft -time brush, we are just going to be painting some shadows. We are actually going to be painting more shadows later. With this layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. Invert the mask by pressing Ctrl I. Set foreground to white. And we are just going to be painting some shadows.
with this laser lighted we are going to desaturate it a bit so we are going to create a hue and saturation adjustment layer clipped onto the layer we are going to reduce the opacity now we are going to create some exposure adjustment layers invert the mask and paint more shadows So we are going to copy this particles layer, convert that to a smart object, control T to transform. We are going to set the blend mode to screen, create a levels adjustment layer, clipped onto the layer. With the layer selected, we are going to create a mask. With the mask selected, control I to invert. That is gone, we grab a soft and brush but click and set roundness to normal. Increase opacity a bit. For when it's set to white. And we are just going to be painting back some. Then we are just going to be painting back some of that. We are going to create a selection this way. Create a new layer. Alt backspace to fill it with the foreground. All right, click and fill with the foreground. Convert that to a smart object. Then we are just going to apply dash and blend. We hit OK. We are going to reduce the opacity. With the layer selected, create a mask. With the mask selected, with a soft hand brush. Foreground is set to black. We are going to increase the opacity a bit. Then we are just going to be erasing this way. We drop the layer somewhere here. With this layer selected, we are just going to create a new layer beneath it for contact shadows. We grab a soft hand brush. Right click and change roundness a bit. This way. Opacity is set to 100. Foreground is set to black. Then we are just going to be creating some contact shadows. You can take care of the opacity in the town. So we are just going to reduce the opacity of the contour shadows. With this layer selected, we are going to create a new layer. So we need some contour shadows below this as well. Create a new layer. We are going to paint more shadows. We are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. With a mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. B for brush. Foreground set to white. We are going to be painting more shadows. So we are just going to add the race, try to match the color. Now we are going to create a curves adjustment layer.
they are going to create a photo filter adjustment layer. We are going to select the cooling filter. Reduce the opacity. Once we have everything in place, we are just going to press Ctrl or Shift E to merge all layers. Right click and convert that to a smart object. Then we go for camera roll. So filter, camera roll, filter. All we are going to do is we are going to play with the settings. Once that is looking good, we hit OK. Thank you so much for watching guys. I do hope to see you in the next one.